No well, trespassing, no trespassing. What was it you were saying about patience? I didn't say anything about patience. What were you saying? I didn't, didn't say anything. What did you say in the intro? You need to be more patient with me. Ah, okay. Because I'm sick of waiting. Take right. care now. How are you going? They're deadly though, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we know we should get some light. But welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So I'm going to do a little intro for Darren here because he's never been at this spot before. And this is a spot about only 20 minutes from home for me. What I advised him for this video was more about patience as opposed to probably some previous videos where it's like crazy going around Connemara. Um, kind of run and gun, as we say. But this spot is more about getting your composition and waiting for the light. And let the light come to you as opposed to you coming for the light. And if you just look over here, we've got these beautiful, beautiful trees with stone walls as well. And once you get this soft light starting to um, starting to just kind of, yeah, just colour the landscape, the greens just really pop. The stone walls are perfect and the, the trees are perfect. So this is going to be a video about patience. While we're waiting for the light there, we just sent the drone up as well and we got some beautiful footage of this entire area here. The sheep as well that were greeting us at the very beginning were quite interesting because they were moving around, uh, obviously because of the drone. We weren't scaring the sheep, but we were close enough to them so the noise they could hear and they were moving around, but I think it made for some good footage. Uh, overall, I'm really, really excited now to get some light on that. Hopefully it'll happen, fingers crossed. When I look at the clouds that are there, there is a possibility, but we'll see if we get that light. Now, the area that I'm at here, have a look behind me. It is absolutely stunning all around. And what we're photographing here are these two trees. Now, I'm gonna spin you around here and look at the camera and show you what I am looking at. So you can just see my reflection, move it out of the way. So here we have this tree. And then we've got this line that's coming up here, another line's coming up here, then this set of rocks that are there. So we're effectively just waiting now for the light to come and 
to light that entire scene up. Now settings as well, uh, at the moment here I am at um, f7.1, one, one hundred of a second, ISO is 100. And I'm underexposing it here because I'm waiting for the light. So yeah, we've um, we've waited for a bit and uh, yeah, I hope that we will get it because you know, as Bernard said, today is an exercise in patience, but I definitely think that there's going to be an opportunity there for us if we get it. If we don't get it, then okay, we'll see. But look all around here, this is stunning. So yeah, can you imagine what it's going to be like when light comes in here and on, where is it? These two trees, it is going to be epic. So yeah, I'm excited to see what we get. So yeah, wait around one shot instead of 10 different shots, one banging shot is what we want. Come on, say a prayer for me in the comments, guys. Let's see if the light will come. What was it you were saying about patience? I didn't say anything about patience. What were you saying? I didn't, didn't say anything. What did you say in the intro? You need to be more patient with me. Ah, uh, okay. Because I'm sick of waiting. Right like there now, for lads now who came to talk about patience, and we're still being patient because we want more. Have I heard two hours now? Two hours, 15. Really? Yeah. And well, then being, for, being photographers, you want more. You're greedy. It's like shooting seascapes. So we're sticking with the one composition, and it's a beautiful composition. Really, really beautiful. Um but we have stubborn cloud now, so it's beautiful. The sky is actually pretty epic. If you can see it, it's absolutely unbelievable, but we may have a gap coming. See that big bright area up here? Is that going to get us? Is that where it's going to come through? Yeah, look. What do you think, everybody? Is it, it, is it going to light? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, look, we're going to hang around here. We're going to see, you never know. Uh, if Bernard, because he is the kind of guy that light follows him, so yeah, hopefully it'll follow him today. But um, already did, I suppose. Well, all second day now. Yeah, technically speaking, he is right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, talk to you again in a minute. <laughs> Patience paid off. There was a gap in that cloud just there. The sunlight streamed through. Thankfully, we had the cameras ready, so we were ready to go. And I think it is looking amazing in the back of the camera. Now, Bernard, you've been here a number of times before. Was it nice with that light, man? I think it's so key here to have a mix of light, cloud and wind because you want the wind blowing the cloud quite fast to give it that fleeting light across the landscape. So it's, it's, just, it's just amazing to witness and you have to, uh, like Darren would have said in previous uh, previous video, was that like you have to make sure you're shooting in burst mode to get that full because it moves so fast, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I'm delighted that it finally came. It was a good exercise in patience. Thanks, Bernard, for, for that, by. And you know what? We might get another second one. We may, may or may not, but the, actually, in general, the sky is actually epic. If we were said something else there, it's we, epic. Yeah, but look, look what we're looking at here, man. This is just stunning all around us. Yeah. Uh, a good exercise in patience from Mr. Bernard Garrity. I have just stood in a big pile of Oh, uh, it is Gavin all around with yeah. Gavin, is Gavin there. I got a few there for your next visit. We'll bag it up for you, boy. It'll be ready for you for when you come. Um, yeah, so look, yeah, I don't think now actually we're going to get any light looking at that there. I think it's probably going to be the end of it. But yeah, absolutely stunning once we got that light. It was really worth the wait. We waited around for maybe an hour, an hour or so. Um, and as Bernard said, this next exercise in patience is getting one good shot with epic light as opposed to five or six good shots with epically. <laughs>
So I hope you've enjoyed coming along in this episode. This will conclude the third uh, installment from my trip to Bernard's back garden and what a back garden he has. It is something special. Not literally my back garden. It is, his Not literally. literally. Back. No, he, he, I, do you know that when No the, trespassing, no trespassing. The Euro Millions, he has won it four times already. Not the money, but he's won it four times with the amount of light that he's gotten on his journeys and his adventures. And if you haven't ever checked out Bernard's channel, I'll leave a link to it below, but it is absolutely great to be able to see uh, the amount of shots that he's able to get the light. What are you hiding at? We might get some light. Oh, hang on, let's go quickly. Look, we might get a second blush. Who knows? Let's go. Let's see. If it does, I'll show you the image here at the end. If it doesn't, then you know that we didn't get it. So thank you very much, as always, for uh, joining the channel. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Don't forget to tune in next Wednesday for my episode Behind the Raw, where I'll pick the one image that I've gotten from here, and I'll talk you through my editing process as well as that. Thank you, as always, for watching. Shalom Gafol.